this is Teresa Perkins, the editor of Exposure Spotlight Magazine, where your voice matters. And I am so honored and privileged once again because I am here with the greatness, the Dr. John Wynn of Las Vegas, Nevada. He is a producer, an author, writer, and musician. He comes from, uh, better yet, he is the brother of the famous, the Wynn Sisters of Reno, Nevada. I have to say, everyone, I went to school in Las Vegas as well as Reno, and I met the Wynn family. This is actually where I became saved, is from uh, uh, Dr. Wynn's father. He was the um, pastor of, of the church that I attended when I went to school in, Los, in Reno, Nevada. And I have to say, it is such a great honor to be before Dr. John Wynn. How are you doing today? Doing well, Ms. Teresa. It's always my pleasure to, and, and, and uh, so wonderful to see you and doing such a great work in this Exposure magazine. Yes, thank you so much. Look, tell everyone uh, about the WIND Network. I mean, because you're doing great things with the WIND Network. So give everyone some information about the WIND Network. Well, the WIND Network, we've been around for about three years, but I've been in the media, ministry, media, media space for about 20 years, radio, TV, and I uh, have my own show preaching as well because I am also the presiding bishop of the International Church Fellowship. And uh, so we've been in this space for about three years, which is a, a OTT platform, which means over the top platform. We stream all over the world in 300 midi, 380 million homes. We're on Roku, we're on Apple TV, as well as uh, Fire Stick, and your mobile apps, your, your desktop. And uh, we, our mission is to really bring inspiration and entertainment together. So we're not just a, pro, a, a platform that just does inspirational songs or inspirational uh, ministry, but we also bring entertainment. Uh, we have access to over about 77,000 films, but we, we're launching on our, new, on our new platform. Starting this month, you'll be able to uh, uh, sign up for $8.99 uh, and be a part of our network, which you can put it on multiple uh, devices and commercial free. You have 899 access to all our new new arrivals that we're bringing to the platform and also our 24 seven channel, which is free. You can watch us free 24 hours a day in your home. So we're really excited. We deal with dramedy, I mean, drama, dramedy, comedy, uh, faith-based film, you know, it's, it's a plethora of mu mu movies and, 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 and just like Netflix, we do the same thing, documentary, same, same space, different color face. Oh, that is awesome. So what are you guys currently working on? Do you, are you working on a new film or documentary man, at this present are, time? Man, yes, uh, Mr. Therese, we're so excited because coming uh, August as well as September, we have a, a new show called IG Music. That stands for Inspirational Gospel Music. It'll be hosted by uh, Tracy Troy. We have a plethora of, of um uh, entertainers and singers that's going to be on her show round tables we're going to talk about the industry as well as watch movie music videos uh, and that's going to be coming on the network on 24 hours a day as well as vod uh, we have the new uh, show coming out in september called the new the wind network news we have top uh, actors and actresses and that's people been in the business all uh, you know over 20 years that's going to be hosting up that show we're excited about that then we have a dramedy coming out called the playhouse which are for the millennials about men and women, um, you know, trying to find their ways, messing around on one another, and they can find their 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 uh, their purpose in life. And we also have uh, this starting this week. We have uh, the Wind Network iPod, or excuse me, podcast. That's called the Wind Network Podcast, which will be on iHeartRadio as well as iTunes. So we're really busy uh, for this season to give people some hope and some inspiration and let people know that there is an opportunity to do great things and share your message to the world. That is great because you know what, we need more inspirational TV shows, uh, movies, film, you name it. We need to have more inspirational uh, things happening in this world today, even more so than what we have ever uh, been. Um, now, I want to ask you, I heard you say, so with the IG um, TV show, 
Now, are are you accepting like new artists to be a part of this? Oh, definitely, definitely. You can get in touch with. We will have all that uh, coming out uh, this week. We're going to start advertising. You'll be able to uh, write us in, show us your videos. We'll send you over to uh, Tracy Troy, who who's been in the business for many, many years. Her father was a, a, a Grammy Award winning music artist for Shirley Caesar. And so she's a, she has music that's coming. So she's going to be doing all the interviews and uh, she's going to do the intake of the videos. But not only that, we're going to show that every Sunday morning at nine o'clock, nine o'clock Sunday morning, West Coast time. So you'll be able to see it. We'll probably show it earlier to probably do a couple of times a day on Sunday. So you'll be able to see that every Sunday. Uh, 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 for free, so that it'd be free on our platform. So that's not something we're charging you to be a part of. Oh, that is great. So those of you who's tuning in and listening right now, and if you are an inspirational gospel Christian singer group or what have you, choir even so, look, yeah. you all want to contact Dr. John Wynn. Now, how can they actually send you their video or information? How you know what, what I will do I will send it to you in your in your post production. Okay. You can put it up, so I'll get fairer and have all that to you. So you'll be able to uh, go to the site that you see on the screen, and you can uh, just write in to that site. Okay, sounds great. Well, definitely, because I have to say, I you know I'm here in Louisiana, and of course, you know there's great talent all over the country. And a lot of, I find that a lot of people are looking for opportunities such as this. So I really commend on what you're doing to open up a platform for independent artists because independent artists, they need uh, a great opportunity such as this to be able to allow their message and their music to be played and heard all over the United States. And actually I'm saying United States, but this is really global, right? Global, yes. We're in Asia, Africa. Uh, we're, we're in uh, India, North America, South America. We're hitting it all. And you never know who might see you. What people, what I think independent artists doesn't, don't realize, it's not really the masses of people that hear you. You know, cause we also have a uh, record company that we do distribution and we also have a, uh, a publishing company that we publish books mm -hmm. and we do film distribution. So what people don't understand, sometimes you, you're looking for that one person. One person can change your life, but most independent artists is looking for everybody. Oh my gosh, I need to be seen by this many people. It's only one person. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I'm sure it was one person that looked at you and gave you an opportunity. It was one person that looked at me and said, hey, look, I can help you. I can show you things. And instead of trying to uh, trying to reach everybody, just reach the people God has assigned you to. Mm. You learn that that's where your greatness is, is in the assignment. But if you're chasing money, if you're chasing fame, if you're chasing uh, notoriety or whatever it may be, when you start chasing things, then you lose your purpose of your existence. Because when you're really fulfilling a purpose in you, it comes to you. You've been writing. You've been doing this. This has been your world for years. This didn't just happen to you. This is something that God purposed in you to help bring life to people, to help them see that, hey, you have the ability. But not only do you have the ability, but you're not going to have to sell your soul for me to help you get to the next level. And people want these things, but they don't know at different levels there is a price. There is a cost. It's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you your time. It's going to cost you your profession, or it's going to cost you your soul, and it's going to cost you, uh, you know, your compromise. So it depends on what side of the fence you want to be on. And uh, that's what I. That's why the Holy Spirit gave me the Wind Network. I wasn't thinking about the Wind Network. The Holy Ghost said, "I've given this to you. You've done nothing to with it." And my pr premise was to bring stories to show people how or get out, how to get out, how to, you know, not just entertainment. We could do, I mean, I can't compete with, with all these big boys, Disney and, 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 and Netflix. I'm not trying to, I'm just doing what God has given me to do, to mm. be the best I can be, to help, help get people's talent out. Well, I, I want to be on in Netflix. Well, you could go on Netflix. Netflix is going to take your rights. They're going to give you a little money to go away. And that's it. Tyler Perry said he took less to gain more.
Hmm. Because he knew that in the in this business, you want to hold on to your rights. Yeah. Because if you hold on to your rights, you'll make money forever. Mm -hmm. And that's what independent artists don't really realize. They want to get money to help them get out. But there's a business acronym that you can learn that can show you multiple ways to position yourself to get out of whatever it is that you are. But if you don't follow the principles, and I'm going to say that again, I have, have tried not to follow principles, mm -hmm. and I still came up short. Mm -hmm. But when you follow principles, you can't lose. You can't lose. Huh? Absolutely. I, I agree with you. Now, uh, so, okay, so we have the uh, IG gospel show. Now, are there any other upcoming projects that you have? Yeah. The, uh, like I said, we have the uh, new, uh, Win Network News. So okay. the Win Network News will deal with four segments. We deal with the Christian entertainment, what's going on in the Christian world as well as the secular world. Uh, health and wellness, how to prepare yourself, health and wellness. Then you're going to have, I have Crystal and, and uh, Crystal Kona, who's working right now on the Rookie Show. She's been there on three seasons. She's been on How to Get Away with Murder. She's our field representative that's going to be interviewing different actors and actresses. Her and uh, Big Rube, Rube is the director of that film. And uh, then um, and then we'll be talking about uh, entertainment news, what's happening in the entertainment news and how to get these opportunities going for you. So that's, uh, that's another thing we're doing. And of course, the iPod. I mean, the iPod, I keep saying that, podcast. podcast. I was that's just going to ask you to touch bases just, on that. Yeah, we're just launching that this weekend. Uh, so you'll be able to get that on the different platforms. So we're just launching that uh, this weekend. We've been doing that all day. And uh, we're really excited about that opportunity. That's that's good. That's good. Yeah. Now, do this for me too, because you know I, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm not all that technology savvy, so I'm I'm really learning a lot about all of this that we're doing. Now, if you don't mind though, give us the difference between streaming and the um, video on demand. I think I kind of know a little bit, but it's it might be somebody else out there who yeah, doesn't. It's, no, that's good. It's the same thing. Well, you can stream live. In other words, we have we have a live streaming place piece like where Sunday morning I have like eight different pastors that stream live, but it's still the same thing. Video on demand is streaming too, but video on demand means that you can watch it at any time, any place, anywhere. So it just means that it's a, it's a it's a it's like a video. It's pretty much yeah a video DVD or but it's whatever. still streaming. All of it is streaming. Mm -hmm. The difference in satellite and television is that you're dealing with the satellite. Well, it's still kind of internet, satellite. Streaming means that it's coming from the internet and it streams consistently. So it's the same thing. Video on demand and streaming is the same thing, technically. So one is just a video that you can watch streaming and then there's streaming live where you can watch live streaming. So it's kind of the same thing, the same world. Okay. Now, as a businessman, an entrepreneur, what is it that Dr. John Wynn is mostly passionate about? Oh, man. My passion is when you look at my website, Dr. John Wynn, is to really help people find their purpose to get them to the next level. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a pastor. I'm a preacher. I'm a bishop. But my, my most passionate part is when I, when I was able to help young people learn who they were to remove mental roadblocks. Because there's so many people that, live beneath their privileges because they miss their, they're so blocked by mental roadblocks. They, they can't see themselves. So we deal with identity, intimacy, and industry. Mm -hmm. We try to get people to understand who they are. You know, why, why, what's my purpose? How do I overcome hurt? You know, how do I overcome the situation? Why am I blocked? Why can't I move to the next level? So I'm passionate about my empowerment uh, segment that I, I'm doing in October. I do a, a two-day empowerment where people come from all over to learn, to sit down, to re readjust themselves, focus themselves in that as well. I bring in business people. In fact, um, what we what we want to do, we want to bring the empowerment to Holly, to the Hollywood mindset. People that want to act and people want to be in directing and, and producing, we're going to have that. But first, we want to reset everybody, get everybody's mind right. Because if your mind's not right, your, your, your talk's not right, and your heart is going to be f conflicted with what do I do? Do I go here? Do I go there? So that's what I'm most passionate about. And the WIND Network is, is something that I, I love 
because I, it gives people the opportunity. This is for people to have opportunity to share their message. And I'm just that platform. But what I'm passionate about, me personally, is when I could help people find their truth and help them get to the next level in their life. Well, you know, since let's stay on that. Since you mentioned that, you know what's going on right now in the world today, right? Mm -hmm. What advice that you can possibly give to those that is um, protesting? Vote. Okay, vote. I would agree. That and makes a bit of a difference. Keep voting. Take your marching to the voting booth because systemic change has to come through what? Legislation. You don't change the laws. You can march all day long. You can march. You can get, you can be peaceful. You can be irate. You can do it all till you vote and you get enough votes in your city government, which affects your state government that, and then affects your federal government. You can't get the laws changed because that, and also looking for young people that, that are backed by, now here's the catch. Cause I ran for office. I ran for school board, mm -hmm. uh, backed by the right people that have your agenda at hand and that will invest resources to help you win your election. And when you can do those things, cause we don't, if you think about it, we don't, we don't raise generations. Yeah. Uh, you know, the Caucasians raise people into politics, into this or that, you know, we, we don't think about that. I, I have eight kids and I'm training them. My daughter runs the network. Her, my, my few daughters run the network. My other son, he's running the record company. My other kid, my other daughter, she's running the publishing company. Uh, and, and my wife, she's running the, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, community-based program with 150 clients helping them. So we're, we're raising them up, tra training my grandchildren. Come on, here's how you do this. And I think we forgot the passion of where this stuff happens. Mm -hmm. You know, the biggest, the biggest problem with the African-American man is what? Education and no fathers in the home. Mm -hmm. So when I don't have any clear direction, if I don't know who I am, if I don't know where I'm going, then what I'm going to do? I'm going to get angry at rape. At, you're not going to change how a person feels about you. That's right. Absolutely. I mean, Chicago one year had more deaths that year than in the war, or the American war, and it was color, black on black crime. So my point is we have to vote, we have to change legislation, and we have to change ourselves because we can't change everybody. You, you can't change people. I can't make you like me because you don't like black folks. Right. So me trying to tell you, like me, like me, like me, it's not going to work. It's not going to happen. But I'm just going to go vote, get you out of there. And, and, and you got to understand, politics is very complex. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. But if you can get some fair treatment. And like the, everybody thought, because we had a black president, some of the Caucasians said, well, you should be satisfied because you got a black president. And then some of the blacks are upset because he didn't do enough for the black folks. Well, the question I have is, what did you do for you? Mm. What did, you, how, did, you, did you go get an education under that? Did, did you better yourself? Did you go mentor other young black men? Why are you saying this? Because I had done it. I did it. I went to the jail and I have a program called Act Now, Apply Critical Thinking. And I was in the jail and young guys, 15, 14, 16, facing years in prison. And, I, and it was Caucasians, it was uh, Puerto Ricans, it was Mexicans, it was black. I said, how many of you in here are, um, or, or how many of you in here, are, dads were in prison? All of them raised their hands. Mm -hmm. And I said, how many of your fathers were in your life? None of, none of their fathers was in their life. And then one of the 15-year-old boys said, he has a daughter coming. I said, yeah, you have a daughter coming. And guess what? You're perpetuating the same thing your father did to you. Because now you're looking at 15, 20 years at 15. And your daughter's going to be 20 years old when you see her. And she's going to have the same issues you had with your father. Because you said his, his, his grandmother went to jail. So I said, how can we change that, that narrative of, of our lives? Number one, we got to get them educated. And we got to make them not worry about what everybody else is doing, but what you can do to change you. 
That's what we control. We can't control everybody else. We can't control people. But I think that's what's important to me. I mean, I don't know if that makes sense in this. No, it definitely definitely does. Um, and, and that's funny that you really say that because I was actually just speaking with um, my daughter a couple of days ago in reference to what is happening at this moment. I shared with her is that you know, for me, all lives matters. Um, I'm not prejudiced in no shape, form, or fashion. But I would like for our people to know that in order to get respect, you have to start respecting yourself as well as respecting one another. What we need to stop doing is black on black crime. Better yet, any crime if we learn to have love in our heart, first of all, love God. Because if you love God, then you're going to find yourself, you're not going to want to do any harm or anything to anybody else. Now, you, yes, most definitely you should stand up for your rights because you have the right to do that. Mm -hmm. But in standing up for your rights, you do not have to harm others who is innocent. And even those that are not innocent, you have to let the Lord fight your battle. Mm -hmm. And that is really my message as far as what is taking place is that our people need to stop hurting one another and start loving. And let's see if there will be a twist and a turn from the other people that we expect to love us and to like us. Because I think that if you start with yourself, then I think a lot of things would change in that, in that, in, in that form. And, and I totally agree, because uh, I was t sharing with my mother today. I said, Mom, I said, the, the thing about, I know we don't like, you may not like Donald Trump. You can say a lot of things. There's one thing about disagreeing with his politics and his policy and his, and his issue with how he feels about individuals, period. And I, I to be honest, Donald Trump hasn't discriminated against anybody. He dogs his cabinet members like he dogs the reporters, like he dogs African Americans. To, so to just say he's racist, he he's he's dogging everybody. CNN, he's the, the reporter, the his own general. So he point on that. He has no respect to person. I said so. I said, but the most important thing is because he represents a leadership and an office. You could disagree with him, but but disrespecting somebody on Facebook, cussing or yeah. saying different rude and inappropriate things about the president of the United States. Uh, like I said, you don't have to agree with the policy, politics, or, but what happens, it shows a rebellion. And mm -hmm. what happens when you show a rebellion from an adult standpoint and your children see you rebel, when you give them an order, they're gonna stand to you and say, well, you, you rebelled against that person in those people. Why should I listen to you? Right. So I think that's that. That's what I I think when we respect one another, when we respect ourselves, and I, in college we we learn the difference in every every culture has been enslaved, and the one reason uh, we we were taught in college that the reason why the African American uh, slavery was so was so bad because we were taught self hatred, so we were taught against the racial barriers in skin color, light skin, middle caramel dark and that brought a, a irritation even in our own community well you think you're better than mine or you got more than me so because you got more than me I, I'm, I'm getting jealous of you and i'm going to take what you have or i'm going to steal what you have because you have more or kids when i was coming up kids would dumb down their 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 intelligentsia because they didn't want to be uh, figured out as being too smart so you have all these these uh, nuances and these 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 variables in a mind of a, a young black young black gal, one young girl, brother, one black young man, and they don't know who they are. So where do we excel at entertainment? Mm. Church, yeah, sports, still entertainment. Anything really? Right. Yeah. Everything pretty much we excel at that they don't bother us is what entertainment. Mm -hmm. They'll let you get rich playing yeah. ball. They'll let you get rich, you know, uh, 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 acting. They'll let you get rich doing that. But are they going to let us own in property? See, they don't understand that true wealth is property. 
Mm. See, if these people understood the power of, of property, that's really the American dream. The American dream is not getting a great job. The American dream is owning a piece of the pie, the property. So what happens when our families that came before us had properties that they fought for, especially in the South, was given 40 acres, 30 acres, whatever it was. The older uh, siblings either didn't want the property or they sold it. And so that's the only way to true wealth is real estate. So if we don't teach young people own a piece of property. Mm-hmm. Now movies, this movie, the, all these movies, that's considered real estate. Mm. Because you pay, you see movies cost $10 million, $20 million. You know how much money that, that movie's gonna make for years to come? Mm. Millions. Yeah. Upon millions, upon millions, because it's real estate. That's why it costs so much. So people want things, they think they're gonna get rich now. No, rich is really a, a, a posturing. And if you wanna be rich, you have to posture yourself to be rich in terms of 10% of your wealth up. Uh, owning property, commodities, you know, whatever it is. It's not just the greenback. And so I think with, with, with the, the more they understand what they want. And right now they just wanna eat, they just want a place to live and they want a nice car and some nice shoes. <laughs> and if they can, if we can ever get them beyond gold teeth, a nice car and some nice clothes and really get them to understand that, do you want to be here now or you want to be here for the long haul? Right. You can get it all. So that's right. my take on that. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's, that's great information. Now, since uh, you just shared that information, what is or what advice can you give to others that is striving to achieve their goals in the entertainment music fashion film industry what advice can you give them you know what i don't can i let me ask you a question okay do you think the generation now we come from several we we're in a different mindset of generation than the right. younger group. I don't think that the younger generation really wants to do or take as long to be famous mm-hmm. the right way that other people, actors, actresses have taken. I think they think if I get enough friends on IG, Instagram, enough friends following me, which is true, mm-hmm. which is true. Because Hollywood would say, oh, they got a million followers, let's pick them up. But do you want to be built to last or do you want to be a falling star? Mm. Ooh, that's powerful. You drop, you drop. You're hot, we see you dropping. Do you want to be that or do you want to be built to last? A star that's consistent, the North Star that still starts staring, still shining. It just depends on your process. I can't answer that because it just depends on your process. What do you want out of life? You want to be quick or you want to be you want to last? That's the question. And and right now they got both. The entertainment world will pick you up just to use you for so what do you, you think? Need. So do you think with Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and all these uh, social networks that you can become famous quicker than what people have done? No. I guess you could say back in the day. Do you really think so? Because me personally, I find it's a process with it, with it as well. So it depends, I think, on the motivation of the person. What will they actually do to get to where they're striving to go? Because even after getting so many subscribers, getting so many uh, followers or what have you. Um, well, uh, I think it depends. I think it only lasts for a certain period of time. Well, on our podcast that's coming out, we, like I said, we talked to Crystal uh, and, and she's, she's still a student. She's still a student. She's been acting, very uh, astute actress, been acting for many, many years. And she um, said in school one year, she said, her teacher said, if you can, uh, if you want to just get famous, go do a reality show and get your name out. It doesn't matter. And if you have, and then I know one of my uh, actresses that was on our set said, I can't even get an audition if I don't have at least 10,000 likes on, on uh, Instagram or 10,000 followers or more. I forgot what it was on Instagram. So yeah, some talent agents look at that. You're a talent agent. You tell me, 
So I, I just think I just it just depends on your pro like me. I don't I'm not interested in that. I'm interested. I like people that work hard. Mm -hmm. I like people that's been working and, and committed and consistent. You know why? Because you don't have to wonder if they're coming on time. Mm. You don't have to wonder if they're going to show up on time. You don't, you don't, if they have a work ethic, you don't have to question them. Mm -hmm. But if they don't have a work ethic and they just want to be big, because I tell, I tell certain people in my family that's super talented, I said, you're lazy. I said, you got talent, but you don't, you don't work. What good is that? Because what's going to keep you going in the game when things get tough is not your talent. It's your, your work ethic. Mm -hmm. This is what I want. I kind of stay here grinding yeah. when it gets hard. Now, you know, it got hard being a talent agent where you want oh, to tell yeah. the boys where to go. I had it for 15, 16 years. Yeah. So you're, an, you're an establishmentarian. You established something that was powerful and you dealt with multiple personalities. So when you looked at a talent, you knew what to do and bring to the forefront and who. And here's what here's what people don't understand. I'm going to drink to this. Okay. <laughs> What people don't understand is that there is a, there is a um, social capital that you gain by being in the business a long time. And when people connect to you, they're connecting to your social capital, who you know, who you're connected to, who believes in you. All right, Teresa, you told me she good, so I trust you. Mm -hmm. I don't trust the act. I trust you. So I'm going to do business because of you, not them. Mm -hmm. And that's what they don't understand. Mm -hmm. You have built a reputation of making stars. You've built a reputation of building great brands and great talent. You have built that reputation down through the years, 15, 16, 17 years. You went to school. You, went, you were educated. You did all the hard work. You hit the pavement. You went tirelessly when you didn't want to go you showed up when you didn't want to put on makeup and your hair you, you you had to get fixed up to go do it why and then you're gonna let somebody tell you they tired i don't feel like going mm -hmm. get somebody else after you done did everything to get them there that's the that's what i'm saying yeah you did all the work to get them there and then when you get them there they don't have what it takes to do because they tired mm -hmm. they don't, don't bother me i want to sleep i had a bad day man go home <laughs> go home because you're going to have a many it's going to be a lot more bad days than this so you might as well go on home now yeah you don't have that a lot some kids don't have that stick to itiveness as my dad used to tell me you have to stick with it you got to do it until this network and this is nothing but the grace of god I'm talking about grind hardest thing i ever did was this right here ever did for me it was the toughest most un, un <laughs> unnerving situation because you're dealing with we had over about 100, 100 people on set. Mm -hmm. You've got to manage these personalities. You've got to make sure that the, the sound is right, the camera's right, the lighting, everything is right. The script, everything had to be right. And you're there for hours and hours. Slow process, keeping everybody calm, making sure folks can eat. It, it, was a, it was something that was, man, it was crazy. And uh, it, was, it was exhilarating. It was, it was, it was everything. It was worse. It was tougher than that. starting a church, up a pioneer in a church. I tell you that because you had so many things that was holding on you and dependent on you, looking yeah. for you to 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 come through with the, and then the editing process and then the post production. That was a whole nother animal. So that was it. Was really interesting. I mean, it was it was interesting because I I did it myself. Now, if I would have went with a major studio and they would have put everybody and all the elements together and you just have, and it's hard for them still because you're fighting with the studio on time and money and all that stuff. Yeah. Look, let's just talk briefly about the film that actually went to the theaters. Yes. Um, share the uh, success of that. Man, the success of this movie was great. We were able to take it on a premiere tour and we took it around the country. And this is, like I said, this was our company. The Wind Network did the distribution for this. So it was a great learning experience. We were able to get access to 300 plus theaters. We were only in a, a, only 11 theaters. Galaxy gave us a, a limited release because number one, it was the time frame and the movies that came out 
and 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 we just kind of got it got a late release date but it it happened and it was kind of quick so we we weren't and we were we were in we got a, a release from galaxy theaters and we went to different places that we didn't get to kind of advertise so we learned a, a a great deal but everybody that saw the film they walked away looking at themselves which what we wanted to do so the movie has a bunch of twists and turns they say you got to do a number two you can't just leave us like this so that was exciting to hear our first film that brought attention and, and got people thinking you know what i'm saying of course you can do you can constantly do something it was different than most faith-based films that's for sure yeah that's good so when can we expect the wind network to come to louisiana when i'm invited okay well you're invited because we have some great talent here Okay. Uh, I, I know a great deal of people that are looking for opportunities. And so uh, I would love to end up doing something with you once this uh, pandemic calm, calm down. And, yeah. uh, and we, you were getting ready to do something with, with the essence. Yeah. Well, you know, I think they, um, they changed the date on that. I'm not absolutely sure, but I know it's not going on in July. I don't think. No, I mean, we were supposed to before all this happened. We had talked oh, about. Okay, you're saying okay. I'm yeah. sorry. All yeah. right. But my yeah. thing is this: if we can, the more people we can get exposed to download the Wind Network in these different areas, it will demand for us to come in those areas, and that's what support is so important. Because if you, people want to, people want to be this, but they don't want to support what they're part of. Now they'll go support Netflix and Hulu and all those different, which is fine. But don't forget about the others that you want to help you, you know. And I told That's people, right. I said, I said, you don't know, you don't know the president of Netflix. I said, but you know the president of the Win Network. Mm -hmm. So you should support those that are supporting you. Well, great. Well, look, we look to do some great things together. Yes, ma'am. And so those of you that are tuning in, if you are a actor or actress or a singer, a dancer, whatever talent that you may have, look. You want to reach out to the WIN Network or even myself, we will uh, have a number that you can actually um, contact at the end of this program. So we greatly, greatly appreciate you and I enjoyed this interview. Is there anything else that you would like to share with everyone? Yes, go download the WIN Network. www.winnetwork.com. Www you can watch it on your desktop or mobile or download the app on your phone or your ipad or go home if you have a roku tv download the app on your roku tv if you have a fire stick download it on fire stick if you have apple tv download it on fire stick so download the network all right great well look thanks again dr john Wynn, the Thank filmmaker you. the executive producer and himself you're doing great things and continue doing great things and we greatly appreciate you and what you're doing to give independent artists and actors an opportunity to be in the film Thank and so movies much. across the United States that you're and global that you're going to be airing and distributing. So we greatly appreciate you and thank you so much. Thank and you. may God bless you. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you. I am Ernest L. Thomas from the Waldens, and you need to download the Win Network app now, or else it's gonna be tragic. Tragic! <laughs>